All right, here we go. Marcel Swiley, welcome back to Vlad TV. Man, I almost didn't know where I was going, dog. It's been too long. Where the it's hell been you too been? too long. We, we ran into each other at the Clippers game. Yes, yes. I know you're a Clippers fan. Cool. Yeah, of course, man. I'm in L.A. Okay. You know, and that team is stacked, but unfortunately didn't win that night. No, 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 but we're going to win this year. We're going to win this year. And don't be year. hiding behind that L.A. shit. Like, if you're a Laker fan, just say it now. Don't be like, oh, yeah, I love L.A. No, nah, Clippers, Clip City, Chip City. There we go. There um, we go. Well, we have a lot to talk about since it's been a long time since you've been here last burning. time. But I think that, you know, at the top of the news is O.J. Simpson just passed away. Mm, yeah. Did you know O.J. at all? I met O.J. several times. One time, intimately, like, uh, first time I heard of O.J., I was like five, six years old. My daddy came in the house with a football that was orange, and it said O.J. Simpson on it, the juice. And I love that football. And that was the first time I heard of him. Then obviously playing in Buffalo, you know about O.J. And obviously he went through what he went through, acquitted of, but still, you know, court of public opinion really slammed him. I know a few of the lawyers personally that was on that trial, so I got a different understanding of it all. Uh, but okay, well, let me interrupt you for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've interviewed uh, Alan Dershowitz, who was mm -hmm. one of his lawyers as well. Mm -hmm. What did the lawyers tell you? And the lawyers you knew was Johnny Cochran, Shapiro. Nah. He had a big team of lawyers. Yeah, yeah. So Sean Holly okay. uh, is one of the lawyers. Carl Douglas, another one of the lawyers. What they told me, I mean, look, they lawyers. I ain't going to say too much shit because <laughs> what they told me. <laughs> um, look, no one, I, this is what I hate about our world right now. Whenever we hear allegations or we actually watch a trial, right? Nobody is getting detailed. Nobody's reading a 47 page uh, allegation against someone, right? Yeah. They just read the headline, two paragraphs and be like, all right, I know what's up. Or you watch it on TV, you give it eight minutes, you're like, see? And so I never wanted to make that public opinion about the trial that I didn't watch every detail. I didn't read everything about it. Mm -hmm. um, I heard, look, in that situation, a lot of like love turmoil was in the mix uh, between the victims, OJ, and just not even being in that situation. If you got a baby mama or an ex, there's just a different dynamic set of rules that both have to play by or else shit can go wrong real fast. So there's all these other conspiracy theories, blah, blah, blah. But I got a chance to meet OJ. Let me just get to that. Okay. And we were in Miami, we were renting a boat. And as we were going towards the boat, OJ was coming towards us. And I'm like, damn, that's OJ. So I'm the only one football player. So I'm like, I'm gonna speak again. I've seen him a couple of times, but he ain't gonna know me. And I was like, hey, OJ, how you doing? And Marcel is right. He was like, oh yeah, you know, what are you doing, brother? And I was with a bunch of girls and my boys, two boys and like five girls, we going on the boat. And OJ was in OJ mode, bro. He was <laughs> macking, like he was about to take not only my girls, and the boat and the girls, this was the funniest part. They were like, kind of like, wow, that's OJ. And then like, oh, that's OJ. So they didn't know how to play it. They double dutch. And I'm like, dog, he ain't gonna hurt you right now. He ain't gonna kill your ass. <laughs> so we ended up getting on the boat. And they first thing they said was like, we were actually a little nervous. I was like, that's a damn shame. This is before the, uh, the theft trial and all that. So it's a damn shame if you really get acquitted or something that you were still guilty in the minds of so many. So. That was hilarious. And then they kept him on how big his head was. And I thought, yeah, he got a big ass head. <laughs> Rest in peace, OJ, man. I got respect. And I don't dance on graves, so I'm not going to talk bad about that man now. Yeah, I mean, look, I interviewed uh, Cato Caitlin, mm. a house guest who yeah. went and had McDonald's with OJ right before the murders occurred. Okay. And then was at the house during the time, was at in the guest house yeah. at the time of the murders, and then saw OJ afterwards. According to him, he did it. When you look at the the timetable, in fact, he said that after the police came, OJ was like, oh, yeah, I was with uh, Kato the whole time. He'll tell you. No. And Kato was like, no, you weren't. He's like, I'm getting out of here. You're not using me as an alibi for a double murder. <laughs> I mean, there's like, look, there's a simple way you're like, yeah, OJ did that shit. And then you're like, you can build a case, which they did, that could say, yeah. did he, did he not? And then that, that doubt right there is how he got off. Let's say that. Yeah, I mean, I almost had an interview with OJ. Whatever. So I, I DM'd him on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. He hit me back and said, hey, talk to this guy. Because as you know, now that everything's coming out, OJ had a lot of cash businesses. Because mm. he wasn't trying to pay uh, the Brown um, 
Oh, yeah. The Brown family and the Celebrate Goldman family, yeah, right? Yeah, so there's yeah. a lot of cash businesses he had where, like, he would charge people to play golf with him. He would sign autographs for cash. Mm -hmm. He would do all types of stuff, but it was always cash. You rigging that system? Yep. I, yep. I was going to be one of these cash businesses. Yeah, yeah. So he put me in touch with this guy. We got on the phone, and it was like, look, he's down to do the interview. It was going to be for 100000 Shit. Gonna be what year is this? This was maybe about a year ago, a year and a half oh, ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, not yeah, not okay. too long ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the understanding was you can't get too deep into the murder trial. He doesn't want to talk about the blood evidence and this, that, and the third. And I'm like, oh, you know, but he will talk about the whole Vegas theft situation. Yeah, yeah. He'll talk about his football career. He'll talk about whatever drama, whatever else, right? And I'm like, okay, so I'll go into it with the stance that he was found not guilty. Okay. So we'll touch on it, but we won't go deep into that yeah, part. Yeah. Okay, cool. We're all in agreement. Okay, so we want 100000 Cool. You going to give it to him? Well, well, here's the story, right? Oh, shit. I'm about to say, I'm here for free. Fuck. <laughs> Do I need to kill him? <laughs> he was like, oh, we're going to need it in cash. All so I, I, checked, I checked, you know, my CFO, and she was like, okay, if they fill out a W-9... And they do an invoice, mm. you know, put in their social security. Mm -hmm. We could do a cash transfer. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. We could do cash. Okay, we're gonna need the whole amount before he walks in the door. I said, hell no. Why? Because you don't think the interview gonna be good. What if, if OJ show up? That's a hundred. No. What if he walks out after ten minutes? What can I do about it? You can't do anything. Can't about do it. anything about it. I'll have my security, but he'll have his security. Yeah, I'm not going to shoot him over an interview. So, like, what? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? If he walks out, I can't stop him. Hold on, but some of the most epic viral interviews have been those short ones. Put yeah, some respect on my name. Seven seconds. You can't make hundred thousand make off of ten minutes. Let me tell you, you I'm just hearing can't. You. I'm just can't. You. So, and I'm like, look, I'll give you half up front, half until you know when we, you know, when we're done. No, I'll give you. 75 up front, 25 at the end. There has to be some sort of reason for him to stay. No. I'm with him still, because you over here grading my fucking interview when I'm like, dog, just give me my money for showing up and doing the interview and trusting me because I'm OJ. Like, right. Like, any appearance, you don't say, okay, well, after you're doing it, you get your money before you get it. No. Nah. No. No, we're talking about OJ, who owes over $100 million yeah, yeah. to the Goldman family, yeah, to his own kids, because yeah, yeah, yeah. the kids were, you know, sued on behalf of the, the family yeah. and everything else like that, who's been ducking payments for decades. I wasn't going to be the last person in line that gets juked by OJ. No, I wasn't going to do it. Uh -oh, I was not going to do it. Okay, smart guy. So smart, you didn't get the damn interview. Yeah, I didn't yeah. get the interview. Yeah, smart. I, did, I didn't get the interview. But you know, listen. I remember I paid uh, what's his name, DMX, like fifteen thousand for an interview, and mm. he insisted. You know, his manager insisted he needs the whole amount up front. We grudgingly agreed to it, and then he died. Damn. You know, and there was a long list of people that he owed money to. So we just found out this it. list of almost Vlad interviews. There's a lot of almost Vlad. <laughs> Sound like better than the ones you're getting. I know, right? <laughs> Let me stop. But no, I didn't do it. I mean, listen, yeah, would he know. would he have done it? Probably, but as a CEO of a company, you have to no, do the right thing for the company and the employees. Yeah, but you so, also take risks. Yeah, you got to take intelligent risks, and maybe that wasn't the smartest. I hate well, it. listen, if he didn't want to take. He wasn't even down for 75 up front and 25 in the back. Yeah, that's when you know he on some, he on some fuckery. Right, <laughs> so he's like, you. yeah, you know, if you ask too many questions about the trial, he's going to walk out. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. how do I know what that is? Yeah, that part. You know, but I mean, listen, I'm also a little annoyed because this would have been his only, like, life story interview before mm -hmm. he passed. He's never done one. Mm -hmm. But for 100000 would you like to remove all of those questions and doubt and know what it would have been? You would have paid 100000 for that because your ass still talking about it. I would have paid 100000 if you would have sat down and did the whole interview as yeah. planned. But Peace of mind. I'll pay hundred k for a peace of mind. And OJ on film? Yeah. You could have got anything. Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, he owes what I believe is $70 million. He don't owe anything. He gone. Well, <laughs> right. But to the Brown and Goldman family, uh, he's yeah. only paid 132000 off of that. And his lawyer, because I guess uh, his longtime lawyer, uh, Malcolm uh, Laverne, mm -hmm. announced, he said, it's my hope that the Goldmans get zero nothing. Them specifically. And I will do everything in my capacity as executor uh, or personal representative to try to ensure they will get nothing. Mm -hmm. So according to OJ, he wants the Goldmans to not get a penny. Well, look, there is a lane where you got to respect that. And that lane is 
OJ didn't do it and was acquitted. Right, but he lost the civil trial. I know, but th we all know that the barriers in terms of what you got to prove and, and is different than criminal cases. Right, so it's 51 lower percent. threshold. Yeah, in a civil trial, it's 51%. In a criminal case, it's beyond a reasonable Be a doubt, reasonable which doubt. is 90, yep. 95%. And so imagine OJ didn't do it. Imagine, please listen yes. to the word imagine, y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> imagine he didn't do it, and then they go somewhere else with a lower threshold and burden of proof, and then they say he did it. Yes. If you're that person, you're sitting there like, man, I don't want to give them jack. That's the only way you could justify it. I hear that side. Yeah, listen, do you want to cough up all the remaining money you have as an older person and still try to live? Of yeah. course you don't. I think most people would do what OJ pulled off. From what I understand, I think he owes like five million to like the state of California mm. over various tax liens and stuff like that. Yeah. Listen, OJ got away. <laughs> from paying that money. Not only did he get away from the murder charges, uh -uh. but he also got away from paying tens of millions of dollars. Yeah. Now, don't have me up here being an OJ defender. I am a defender of truth. I'm a defender of what really happens in terms of the ruling. I, like, I live by that, and a lot of people don't. A lot of people be like, because first of all, who's been sued? Raise your hand. All right. Yeah. How many times you been sued and you're like, I ain't do shit. This yeah, I've been sued and I had to pay up. Yeah. Right. I, my first time I got sued, a gardener lied and said in Buffalo that he put in weatherproof plants or some shit. It starts snowing, everything died. I was like, dog, you must not do it the right way. And dude sued me for putting in the wrong shit. So I got worse stories than that. But the point is, whatever happens, dog, I usually live by that and I don't lose too much sleep over it. Listen, he was found not guilty. Yeah. And since there was no deathbed confession yeah. that we know of. Right. It's just, it's going to be a debate for the rest of time. Yeah. And everybody debating. None of them motherfuckers watched the trial fully. None of them no, read all not the transcripts. A single person. So I'm not even, I got time at the barbershop. When y'all do the OJ thing, I'll be like, all right, that's why I'm bald, dog. Let me get up out of here. <laughs> well, I mean, this is why I mentioned Cato, because Cato was a witness in the trial. Yeah. In yeah. fact, they tried to paint, well, the, the, def no, the prosecution actually made him a hostile witness, which he said he doesn't understand why, because mm. he was not actually on anyone's side. He was just there to tell mm. what he saw. Because yeah. remember, he was really cool with uh, Nicole. He had lived with her and was taking care of her kids. Mm -hmm. The dog was actually named, he got named after the dog. Or Flag, you know you're schooling me right now. That's right. No, that's right. That's right. It is what it is. I was like, did he do it or not? <laughs>